have improved the utility of personal computers. The wireless networks has emerged to overcome the wiring difficulties. But in a wireless LAN, how are the multiple transmitters supported? In wireless LAN system, only one user is allowed to communicate with the receiver at a time. The way one user is selected depends on the carrier sends multiple access with collision avoidance random access method. To help illustrate the operations of carrier sense multiple access, we will use the analogy of office table conversation. Let us represent our wireless medium as a discussion table and let several people at the table represent the wireless nodes. Just as when one person at the table talks, everyone present hears him. When one wireless node transmits all other devices using the wireless medium, hears the transmission. Now, let us imagine you are at the table and you would like to talk. At that moment, someone else is talking. So, you would wait till the other person finished talking. This is same concept described in CSMA as carrier sense. Before a station transmits, it listens to the medium to see if another station is transmitting. If medium is quiet, it begins to transmit. Suppose two persons want to talk something and both sense the carrier based on the silence and begins to speak at same time. In Wi-Fi terminology, a collision occurs when both speak at once. The collision will result in an undecipherable message to the intended receivers. What we need is a polite contention method to get access to the medium. This is the collision avoidance mechanism of CSMA CA. Wi-Fi has come up with two ways to deal with these kind of collisions. One uses the two-way handshake when initiating transmissions. The other uses a four-way handshake. Node with a packet to send monitors the channel. If channel is idle for a specified time interval called DIFS, then node transmits. If channel is busy, then node continues to monitor until channel is idle for DIFS. At this point, node backs off for random time for collision avoidance and attempts transmitting after waiting this random amount of time. If a node does not back off for the random time, then it will definitely collide with another node that has something to send. The reason for random back off time is that if one node choose a random time and another choose a random time, then the probability of both choosing the same random time is slim. This way, both back off from transmitting and will probably not interfere with each other when they are ready to transmit. If the packet reaches the destination without problems, the destination sends a short packet over the wireless medium acknowledging the correct reception. This packet is typically called an acknowledged packet. Acknowledge is a second way of the two-way handshake. If the medium is busy, the node backs off for a random amount of time after waiting for DIFS just as before. But now, instead of packet, the node sends a short message ready to send, RTS. This message is basically attempting to inform others that I have something to send. RTS contains destination address and duration of message. RTS tells everyone else to back off for the duration. If RTS reaches the destination correctly, that is, no one else collides with the message, then destination sends a clear to send CTS message after waiting a prescribed amount of time called SIFS. After getting CTS, the original transmitter sends a packet to its destination. In these systems, the transmitter cannot detect collisions. The receiver uses the CRC to determine if the packet has reached safely. 
If it does, then it sends out an acknowledged packet. If the information packet is not acknowledged, then the source starts again and tries to retransmit the packet.